AITA for choosing my wife instead of my niece? I, M25, have a niece, F6. I'm her godfather. She's the only kid in the family for now so she's quite spoiled. Her birthday party was last Saturday. My sister said that my niece wanted a Disney-themed birthday in Kanto, so my sister asked me to dress up as one of the characters. This is something that we usually do for my niece, since she likes it and it's fun. I said yes like three weeks ago, so please have that in mind. My wife, F25, is pregnant. She's nine weeks along, but she's already having a lot of symptoms and she doesn't feel great. She has a lot of nausea. Some smells get her very sick and she's just feeling tired, moody since she's not getting a lot of sleep either. The day before the party she had been sick most of the night. So we didn't sleep well. The party was at 2 p.m. My wife actually told me to go to the party because she could stay alone. She was tired and feeling quite needy but she was mostly fine no nausea at the moment she was able to eat something and was a bit more comfortable but i felt terribly leaving her alone so i decided to stay with her so we could cuddle and rest i texted my sister to let her know that i'm not coming to the party at around 1 45 or so now i know my sister i know that she and our family would have called me and sent me texts to try to get me to go so my wife and I turned our phones off so we could have a peaceful nap. Just as I thought. Hours later when I turned on my phone again I had tons of calls and missed texts. I read the texts and it seems like at some point my niece made a big tantrum because I wasn't there. Because I promised her to go as one of the characters of the movie and play with her, the kids. She refused to do anything and listen to her parents. So long story short they had to end the party early. My whole family is absolutely blaming me for ruining the party. My sister said I'm an asshole because I promised her daughter to be there dressed up and then didn't show up. I remind her that I said yes three weeks ago. So a lot of stuff can change in those three weeks. I told them what my wife was going through and why I wanted to stay with her. They called me off and said that she, my wife, is somehow trying to get me away from them. They said that she's an adult and doesn't need to be pampered all the time. She could be a couple hours alone. I told them off for acting and talking like that about her. And said that I can do whatever I want with my time and I told my sister that if she would have raised her daughter better then she wouldn't have made that scene. We had a big argument which ended in insults. Now almost everyone is on their side and not mine. Am I really wrong here? I feel like they're not trying to understand the reason why I didn't go to the party. Like I'd rather have my wife feel great and go to the birthday party than this. They say that I'm acting selfish but to me they're the selfish ones. Please give your opinions and I'll answer any questions if there's any. My wife told me to go to the party if I wanted. But she preferred me to stay since she wanted cuddles. She wasn't feeling very sick physically at the moment. But she mostly wanted emotional support. Please bear with me if I don't explain myself too well. We're Spanish. I can't answer all the comments I'm sorry. My family knows that my wife is pregnant for those who were wondering. My niece is 6 years old. Not 16. I told them I wasn't going 15 minutes before because I was debating whether to go or not. My wife said to go but she wanted me to stay since she needed emotional support. She's needy and emotional for now. I know that turning off the phone is rude. Sorry. I'm just used to doing it since my family is too much sometimes and they can't take a no when I do. Something they don't like. So I wanted to prevent that or at least postpone it. Also this was my niece's birthday party but her actual birthday was another day. That's why I didn't mention telling her happy birthday or something like that. I greeted her on her birthday day. Last Wednesday. This isn't really just a case of picking your wife over your niece. It's commendable you wanted to stay home and take care of her. 
But, this is a case of YTA. 1. Your wife is an adult. I understand she wasn't feeling great. And that neither of you slept great. But she's an adult and could have stayed home and napped on her own and you could have gone to the party and come home and care for her after. She's an adult capable of taking care of herself. 2. You weren't just a guest at your niece's party. You made a promise to her to play a big part in it. She's 6. You're the adult. She's allowed to throw a tantrum because she couldn't trust an adult to keep a promise for something she was probably very excited for. That's just how kids process big emotions until they're able to process them other ways. It has little to do with how she's being raised. She's six and her uncle promised her. Then broke that promise. 3. And this is your biggest crime in this. You gave them 15 minutes notice. They couldn't even attempt to see if anyone else could be that character for them. They didn't have time to tell her and let her feel those feelings. That's inconsiderate notice right there. You say it like it matters that you made it three weeks prior but it doesn't. That excuse is for emergencies. Things that are outside of your control. YTA. Telling them 15 minutes before the party begins suggests that they live close. So that means that you weren't going to be a long distance away from your wife. And I'm assuming that there is somebody who could have stayed with her for an hour. So you go and visit your niece on her birthday. Something you promised her. And it's not unreasonable for a young girl to be upset when somebody special to them doesn't show up for their special day. You basically told her she wasn't important to you. And you suck for using your wife as an excuse not to go to a party. You should have made it very clear that she insisted you go. But you are choosing not to. And if you couldn't go to the party, you could have FaceTimed. You could have talked to your niece rather than ignore their calls. You have basically made your wife the villain when she wasn't. And you wanted to take a nap. Admit it. I wasn't about your wife. It's about what you wanted to do. YTA. Basically you chose a nap over your niece. Not your pregnant wife. Your pregnant wife was completely fine during those hours and also napping. YTA wanted to stay home so we could cuddle and rest. You didn't stay home because your wife was sick. You stayed home because you were tired. Calling 15 minutes beforehand is the cherry on top. She's six of course she was disappointed and crying. It made it even worse that you didn't even answer the phone to talk to her. YTA for this one thing party is at 2 p.m. and you texted your sister at 1.45 p.m. Which gave her no time to deal with it as party was about to start. It would be one thing if you were about to leave for party and something happened. But you should have texted your sister sooner. Moreover, you knew that your wife is having hard pregnancy and there was big chance that she would feel that way on the day of party. So why didn't you try to arrange for someone staying with your wife? Or at least telling your niece that you are not sure you will make it. But that you will definitely make it up to her. Sure, your sister is taking it too far. But I just feel for her as she was there to see the debacle of you not showing for her daughters. Party and your comment about your sister not raising her daughter better? Wow. You really went there. Your niece could be the most behaved kid and she would probably still throw tantrum as she is was. Celebrating her sixth birthday and expected you there to play with her in costume and you weren't. There. Which she learned about only few minutes before the party or during party and there is not really. Much your sister could have said to excuse you as I doubt your niece would understand why you. Stayed with your wife. YTA big time. You skipped the party. For literally no reason at all. Your wife was completely fine. Even worse. You blamed her as your reason to the family. And even in this post now your family is all blaming her for your nonsensical choice. You didn't choose your wife over your niece. Because your wife didn't need you at all. You bailed for no reason. 
and then proceeded to throw your wife under the bus, which can only cause her stress. I say this as a mom, aunt and person who has had three miserable pregnancies YTA. Unless your wife was to the point of keeping nothing down and truly needed you there for something, she would have been fine. I understand feeling needy and wanting to cuddle. I truly do I was throwing the entirety of all three of my pregnancies and put on meds that sort of helped. But my husband still went and did things. My kids are spoiled as the only grandkids on one side but they also have firm boundaries and consequences. They know I mean what I say and are generally good kids. Yet there are few kids who likely overstimulated and hyped up on sugar who wouldn't be absolutely devastated that they're. My guess is, favorite uncle didn't show up to their party after promising to not only be there and to dress up. I'm sure she was telling her friends how fun and cool you are how. Again I guess, Bruno would be at her party. You were probably going to be the highlight of the party and you bailed for a nap. You weren't making sure your wife got fluids and kept something down. You were not doing something vital that couldn't wait. You disappointed a little kid and don't care because she is spoiled and should have been raised better. Imagine it was your kid who was let down on their birthday. She wasn't mad that she was missing a present or the cake wasn't right. She was upset because her uncle who made a bunch of promises couldn't be bothered to show up. And please don't act like three weeks was so long ago promises don't count. I just RSVP'd to my nephew's party in March but I guess he shouldn't be upset if I don't show. Because two months is just too long. YTA. You shouldn't break commitments unless it's an emergency and this wasn't an emergency. Maybe your niece is a bit spoiled but she's six. Of course she was disappointed that she didn't get the birthday party she was expecting and was promised. And of course he's a six-year-old she didn't handle it maturely. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a little part of you that did this on purpose. Since you think the girl is spoiled. YTA. Pregnancy is harsh. I've been there. So I get it. However, your wife told you to go. You could have popped in for 20 minutes and then left. Info had you even acquired the costume for the party? She's six. You should have spoken with her. She wouldn't understand but you should have. Good luck getting her to trust you in future. You gave 15 minutes notice? Damn you're super inconsiderate. You could have told them earlier so they could maybe come up with a plan B. If I were your sister, I'd never trust you again. YTA. Your wife was fine. You blew off a promise to your niece on her birthday for no good reason. Esh except for your wife who is sick and your niece who is six. You are an asshole for being mean to your sister about your niece and expecting so much of her. Of course she cried and freaked out and was upset because she was disappointed. Saying she should have raised her better and being mean about her was really cruel of you. She is a little little kid and that absolutely sucked of you. Boy is parenting going to wake your ass up. Your sister sucked and so does the rest of your family for not realizing that your wife is pregnant. And ill and that yes. She does come first and that sometimes plans have to change because of sickness. Then blaming your wife for separating you from the family is histrionic and absolutely vile. Unacceptable. Your niece is not an AH because she is 6 years old and you are being a jerk about her. Your wife is not an AH because she is pregnant and sick. And even if she had asked you to stay behind, she has every right to do so. Everyone else here is an absolute jerk. YTA. I've been pregnant. I've suffered from terrible morning sickness. I did not need to be looked after 24 hours a day. Your wife would have been fine to have a rest while you popped into the party. You didn't need to stay the whole party. You could have gone for half an hour and then gone home. Your niece is six. She's little. She was excited and clearly your presence was a big part of her party for her. 
You should be flattered that she loves you so much and you should be able to make an effort for a short time to honor a commitment you made to a child. YTA I understand your wife was sick. I get that she was okay if you went to the party, but preferred if you stayed. Thing is, she slept. You yourself said she had already ate and wasn't nauseated. She was fine. So you didn't stay to help her. You didn't stay to cook for her or clean up if she had a mess cause of her nausea. You stayed to sleep and cuddle with her. Something that as a grown woman, she could have done by herself. Would it really have killed you to leave her for two hours and then come back to nap with her? Seriously think about that. Would it really have been that big of an inconvenience for you to do that? To compromise and be there for both your wife and your niece? There's still lots of time left with her pregnancy. I hope it goes to term and she stays healthy. But the symptoms you described seem to be common for early pregnant women. There's going to be lots of weekends you can stay and nap with her. And going forward, with all that hopefully you'll have to do with getting ready for a new baby. There won't be so much time for extended family parties or such. And this isn't just your niece's party you missed. You broke a promise to your goddaughter. That relationship is a special one. Whether she the only grandchild right now or not. You're her Anki godfather. You stated that your wife was sick the day before and hadn't slept well. So you had plenty of time to call and let your sister know what was going on. And you could have bitten the bullet and just let them know that you were tired and it wasn't the best circumstance to be a dress-up character around a bunch of six-year-olds. You used your wife's pregnancy for you failing to give adequate notice to your sister. And then, knowing that there would be fallout, you took the childish way out by sending a text and turning your phone off so you wouldn't have to deal with it then and there. You didn't even have the decency to call and let your sister know or wish your niece a HB. You let your goddaughter down and had no remorse. You just decided to snuggle. I'm not excusing the fallout and the words that your family starting saying afterwards. But you asked for an opinion if you're an AH. You are because of the way you chose to go about it. And because of the way you went about it. Words were exchanged. Maybe if you had gone about it differently. Those words wouldn't have been said by your family. Again. You're the off for how you chose to handle it. You didn't choose your wife over your niece. You chose to sleep and cuddle over a commitment you made. You failed to give proper notice that you wouldn't be able to live up to that commitment. Stop looking for a way to seem like the hero husband. Your wife straight up told you to go and you decided not to in lieu of taking a nap. Of course YTA. YTA they're not trying to understand because you suddenly say you aren't coming 15 minutes beforehand and the shut off your phone. Someone does that before my kid's sixth birthday. And I'm going to be really pissed. If this was an adult birthday party. Sure NBD. But to a six year old? You said you would be there and then didn't even explain to her yourself why you wouldn't be there. And now everyone else has to deal with the fallout of it. They aren't being selfish and I'm willing to bet you'll have a very different attitude when suddenly an adult is ducking out on an important event for your kid 15 minutes beforehand. YTA. What a massive AH. Your wife is a few weeks pregnant. She's not a sickly frail patient. And you even admit she was feeling better and told you to go. And really 15 minutes and then radio silence? YTA. You promised a child something for their birthday and you bailed on her. She was probably so excited. Got her little friends all excited about it too. Your wife didn't need you to nap with her. She's pregnant. Not dying and she even told you to go. So yes. YTA uncle that ruined his six-year-old niece's birthday. NTA for not attending but YTA for doing so at the last minute and then becoming unreachable for 
several hours. I would have said easy NTA had you said something the day before or even in the morning. Why did you wait so long to tell them? In the morning you already knew your wife wasn't feeling well. You can really tell who the deadbeat dads are up in these comments. It's NBD to miss the kids party. She'll get over it. She'll have more birthdays. She needs to learn the world doesn't revolve around her. This wasn't an afternoon park play date he didn't show up for. It was her birthday party and kids look forward to those all year. It's like telling your senior prom date you're not coming as she's walking out the front door. Would you blame her for crying in the fetal position on the front porch? Congrats on giving this kid the worst type or core memory. Ah, so you could take a nap. YTA and I hope no one ever breaks your kid's heart the way you broke hers. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.